<sighs> Today I will be solving the Rubik's Cube in the mirror. The rules are simple. Number one, you have to look at your cube through the mirror. Okay, that's it. Let's begin. Those few moves I planned out. Now, this is the hard part. All right, I got the cross, let's go. Uh, these two, all right, that was easy. Um, red and blue, the red and blue. I, I don't even know how to orient the cube so I can see pieces. Uh, is that, uh, that works. Okay, where's the other red and green? It's this one. Okay, so far not too bad. Oh, that's easy. And okay, this is the left side. Wow, that felt so much better than it actually was. This was a 36 second solve. Let's break the rules for a second, go for a non-mirrored solve just so I can feel better about myself. I messed up, but it's okay because it's gonna beat 36 seconds anyway. Uh, okay, 10 seconds for a solve of the day. I feel like inspection is the hardest part because I don't have algorithms like in my muscle memory ready to go. I have to figure out every single move I'm gonna do. Uh, this, this, okay, that's my right hand. Other way. Uh, <laughs> no, wrong way, okay. This, this is going here. This is my left hand. Is that right? That's right. Okay, uh, OLL. And what is this? This is my left hand. Okay, and this is U2. Perfect. No, that was even worse than the first solve. As you can see, this is extremely difficult as I'm taking four times of my usual solve time and all that's changed is I'm looking in a mirror. If you're just watching and you've never tried this, it may seem unbelievable how much I'm struggling right now, but actually pause the video and go try it yourself if you don't believe me. I've come up with a few strategies I'm going to try and use today, but the first one obviously is just to practice a lot. Okay, this one's cross on green is so easy I could probably not struggle at all with the cross. All right, let's go. Uh, here, red and green, uh, red and white. Um, this hand. Oh, oh my, is that right? That's right. Mm, like that, and okay. Uh, wrong hand. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm messing up the algorithms now. Okay, this is towards me. Okay, new PV at least, they're 33 seconds. Okay, 38 and that was a really bad solve. I think I'm getting better. Some of you are probably wondering why the mirror is shaped like this. <laughs> why is it curvy? The curves represent the twisting in my brain as I attempt this challenge. Wow, I'm locking out on these crosses. It really helps to be color neutral for this this solving mode. It's really hard to plan out for his pair. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try, but I can see where it is. Uh, wow, I did it. Okay, uh, this one. Does that break? No. Uh, that doesn't break anything. This. Oh man, where's the pieces? What? Okay, my rotations keep going the wrong way. Uh, what, what am I? That works, that's not the algorithm I ever use, but there's a new PB. <laughs> which way, which way does it go? Okay. I'm actually, I'm not even thinking, I'm just testing sides. Paper, that's the wrong hand. 41. This hand, oh, oh no. Whoa, not bad. Oh wow, wow, okay, three move cross. Okay, I gotta rotate this way, all right. Let's do this, rotate. Um, what, what is that? Uh, finding pieces is just the worst. Away. Oh no. Oh wow! Yes! I got a 23 second solve. Oh, I, I just wanted a sub 30. I can't believe that was my first one. 
Okay, one problem I've been running into a lot is for some reason, even though like the mirror doesn't flip right and left, like the hand on this side is still the hand on this side in the mirror, even though it's not visually flipped, I'm not thinking purely visually. I'm thinking like with an internal cube in my head and that cube needs the, the other hand, if you know what I mean. So I was thinking, what if I just got rid of one of my hands and solved one-handed? I have no clue if this would be better at all. Obviously there is the restriction of one hand, but we're gonna see if this works any better. All right, since I'm planning the cross, I could probably still do this part two-handed, but then everything afterwards, I'm just gonna do one-handed. Um, okay, one hand now. Can't, if only I could find pieces. Uh, this is probably worse. I can tell you that already. I've actually completely lost the ability to think. I don't know why I thought this would be easier, uh, but we're gonna follow through with this. Uh, what is that? That is a V-perm. How do I, how do you hold a V-perm? Um, okay, that is the mirror way to hold the V-perm. I need the block here, okay. That was wrong, okay. What? That was also, okay. Oh, this is backwards. Okay, okay. One minute 17, I think I can safely abandon this strategy. Wait, before I do that, what if I used my non-dominant hand? Okay, so hear me out. My turning wouldn't be as good, but it would look like my left hand in the mirror. So maybe this would work out. A few moments later. I don't know how to do this OLL with this hand. I give up. All right, my next strategy is instead of trying to be one with the mirror and you know looking at the mirror, thinking like I'm in the mirror world, what I'll try to do now is, for example, for this F12 case, it is in the front in the mirror, so it's gonna be the back for me. And then obviously it's on the right side, so it's gonna be the back right. And then I will picture it on my cube. So it's as if I'm seeing it on my own cube and then do it on my cube. So that means the turning should be pretty fast, but the recognition might be a bit slow. All right, this one, please, this is the front. Uh, green and yellow, take it out. I'm not even executing the strategy properly, but this one might, oh, H-perm. Yes, 21. The thing with H-perm is it looks the same from all sides and I didn't have to move the corners, they were already solved, which meant uh, PLL was the same time as usual because it's the same in the mirror and not. That was great. For mirror solving, H-perm is definitely top tier. This is the best PLL. <laughs> Maybe I need to practice my PLL recognition. Let's just do some random PLLs. What do we got? Oh, that was <laughs> so bad. Oh no. Okay, never mind. We'll just hope for H-perms. Okay, this is this is just wonderful. I have the cross almost done. This is like four moves. Oh my god, another pair. Uh, this is the back. Turn this around. This is. <laughs> I have to find. Oh no. What is what? Uh. Oh yeah, a new PB, two in a row. Converting image from the mirrored cube to my cube is actually a bit difficult, but I think if I get that down, then I can get these solves pretty fast. Nope, everything's, every, everything's a disaster on this one. Okay, this is, I converted to the wrong hand. All right, I think I haven't been making things easy enough for myself, so I'm gonna try and alter the strategy a little bit. So what I was doing was looking there, then visualizing what it would look like on my cube uh, without the mirror, but then that was a bit of a hard translation over to make. What I will do now is just touch the pieces. So that will just make it a lot easier to visualize what I'm making contact with on my cube so I can easily tell just from feeling this is the back right of the cube and I'll know exactly how to solve this case. I'm sure converting in my head would be faster in the long run so I don't have to use my hands to do stuff like this but I think that's not going to be very good now and there is no long run because I'm not going to be practicing this forever so this is my new strategy I just touch the pieces oh no the cross is wrong hang on okay okay uh here I'm just practicing right now so it's these two I can't even touch the pieces in the right spot okay but so this is the back and this is over here 
So then I will visualize it on my own cube and then like that. There, it is solved. Okay, let's do another practice round. These two, oh, okay, that's kind of obvious. Um, let's do a different one. These, okay, touch them and then go. Uh, these two are right here. It's kind of weird. I thought it would be easier again. Like I always think it's gonna be easier than it actually is, but even just touching the right pieces has been a little bit difficult. That looks like it's on the left, so it's on the right. Can I get a PLL skip? Yes. Okay, that wasn't a serious try. Let me try again. Okay, that looks right. Uh, okay, this and this. Wow, that works. Uh, these two. Um, what am I looking at? Uh, here and here. This and this. Uh, wow, that worked. Um, 25, wow. That was, that was not bad considering how much time it feels like I'm spending just touching the pieces. Uh, turns out that's a good trade-off to make because I'm recognizing faster as a result. Okay, there's a super easy X cross on red. There's a pair made. I'll try my best. And, okay, good, good. Uh, these two are here. In the back, nice. Um, this is, wait, whoa. Uh, is... Yes, yes, 18 seconds. Wow, okay, my goal today I didn't say it earlier because I had no clue how close I was gonna get, but my goal was a sub 20. Keyword was, now it's sub 15. You know, you can you can never be satisfied when you're doing stuff like this. What? That is on the left side. Okay, actually pointing at things makes it so much easier. Okay, this is here, here, front right. Oh, I almost messed that up. Uh, this is the front, this is, this is over here, and the back, wow, 22, this may be my third best one. These two are here, oh my god, please skip PLL, oh no, left side, 19, that's another sub 20, okay, this is, Pointing at the pieces is definitely the best strategy I've found so far. Uh, this, these, oh my, I can't point at them. Uh, that's the wrong slot. Please tell me it's the right slot. Okay, whoa, cool. Two pairs this is here. This is, and uh, perm on uh, this side. 23. Okay, I feel like I feel like actually my brain power has decreased a lot. I I've actually lost the ability to point in the right spot in the mirror, which means that um, I I don't think I'm going to be able to beat my PB at this point. I think one thing I've definitely learned today: if you're gonna try and set a PB this way, do it quick. <laughs> so at first you'll get better because of practice but then you're very quickly going to become exhausted and somewhere in there, you have to set your PB. <laughs> However, I did have a plan for what to do in this situation. I'm pretty sure I have one last strategy that is just going to destroy all the other ones. <sighs> all right. This is my final strategy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you tell me that I'm cheating, I just want you to remember there was only one rule. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking at the third cube. So uh, that one, because it is the same as what I see in the first one here. All right, kids, this is what we call problem solving with science. I actually can't even start the timer. I'll have to put it over here. Let's go. Oh, this is much better. Ah, this is... This is how it was supposed to be, you know? 16, you know, I couldn't really reach my hands over very well, but I beat my PB on the first try, and I think that makes this one the best strategy. I gotta give myself a victory lap for coming up with such a great strategy.
14, 14 seconds in the mirror. Beat that. All right, guys, I am exhausted. That is it for this video. I hope you had as much fun watching as I had making it. Let me know if there are any other challenges you want me to tackle. And of course, leave a comment with what time you were able to get in the mirror. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.